Hi, I'm DK and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing a manga haul and unboxing. I am so excited for what I got. <laughs> the month of June and early July. So one reason why I bought so much manga this month was because Books A Million which is a bookstore near me, had a buy two, get the third free manga sale. And this is something that they do during the summertime. So I just had to take the opportunity and just buy manga. And there were just also a lot of good manga that came out in June. I'm also really excited because there's going to be more coming out <laughs> in July, uh, well this month, um, more towards the end. So I'm excited to get the books that are coming out too, which I will share with you when that happens. So let's start and I will we'll do the unboxing first. Um, so both of these are again from Books A Million because they have that sale. And this one. Alright, let's see what's in here. Yes! A sign of affection! Book 5! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited to read this! This is a really good um, manga about, about Yuki and Itsuomi. Um, so Yuki is deaf um, and she's discovering her first time of love. And Itsuomi is someone who loves to travel around the world. Um, but this is a very sweet, sort of, I would say, um, calm storyline. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens next. I cannot read, I cannot wait to read this. And I also really like the art style too, so. Oh, I'm getting excited. <laughs> Alright, and then. Ooh, Beastar Star. B Stars Volume 9. So I started collecting B Stars. I heard that this was a really good manga. And so I and so I started to collect the, the series. And when I first read it, I didn't find it appealing at first. Um, and I was like, oh, you know. Eh. But then as I kept reading it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is starting to get really good. So I had to start buying more. So I, there are more. So you see book nine here. And then I also bought book eight. And then there should be more in here, which I'm going to be opening right now. With the scissor. <laughs> Maybe don't open boxes with scissors. <laughs> but it was the thing that was closest to me. Alright. They bubbled it pretty well. Alright. What's, ooh, what's this? Oh, book page. I didn't know they had something like this. Oh. Alright, so let me take out all of these. Okay, let's see what is in here. Oh, they packed are really stuck in here. All right, B stars ten. Ooh, eleven. I'm pulling them right out <laughs> in order. And twelve. Oh my gosh, yes. Got eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So so far I have volumes one all the way to twelve and fourteen randomly. Oh. I am so excited to read these five volumes. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what happens next. Look, this is the Goshi and Haru. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. All right. And the next one is Blue Period Volume 7. This was also recently released too, and I cannot wait to continue reading this. 
I've only read volumes one and two so far, but I have it all the way to seven. And I still need to continue reading because um, there's still more character development and stuff about in the storyline. Um, so I cannot wait to continue to get and catch up all the way to volume seven. So Blue Period is about Yatora, who basically didn't have a lot of interest in the world. Like he was, he did pretty good in school. But nothing caught his attention until he found art. And this is his journey in discovering what he can do with art. And yeah, it's like a passion. And it makes me very passionate to do things. <laughs> so those are the books that were in um, the boxes that I received. So all of these. And let's talk about the other books that I bought from the bookstores. So... The first one is at the bottom. Oh my gosh! Otakoi! Love is hard for otaku. This is the Books of Million um, cover edition. So Barnes and Nobles and other bookstores had their own editions, but oh my gosh, I just, I had to get the one for Books of Million because I love this cover. It's so pretty. This is the fi final volume at volume six. Um, about two otakus who have different interests. Um, so Nifune, right here, is the gamer, <laughs> and Anami, um, and Anami, who's right here, is a Fujoshi, sort of like me. She's uh, very into boys' love, and um, she even does do doujinshis too. <laughs> so I love and can relate to this so well. Um, but they are. Um, they are office workers who get into, who fall into a relationship together, um, and romance starts there. My favorite couple, though, is his little brother, Kay. Um, right there, Kay and Ko. So this is Ko. She's so cute, and this is Kay. And Kay is super clumsy when it comes to games. He's not a good gamer at all. And Ko is exactly like very, or not exactly, but she's very similar to Nifuji. And she's very good at gaming. And oh, I just love this series. I will be definitely be reading this again. And I'm, I was so excited when I saw that um, this cover was out for the last volume. So that's Wotakoi. And then. Oh my goodness, this one just recently came out and I did not know that they were printing why Rayliana ended up at the Duke's Mansion. I would like to say that I have been <laughs> addicted recently to Isekai where the girl um, is either like dies and goes into a novel that she read recently or like the reverse time was reborn so i like women who in these storylines who are very strong-minded can be independent and fend for themselves um so when this came out i was so happy <laughs> and excited and it's actually a manhua some of them usually have a uh, novel already and then they are then drawn into the style um and this is like a webtoon i would say like where you scroll it on the on the phone screen and they made it not make it now into um into a physical book and they've been doing this a lot lately which is why i'm so happy like i've been like looking online and noticing that there's even more newer titles to me out too and i cannot wait to get my hands on them <laughs> um but yeah just look at the art and it's full color oh my gosh and noah is so handsome there's really i just love the art the colors and everything um they are more expensive but i I would just invest in it. I mean, I would just buy it anyways because I just love this story so much. It's a good story too. So, why Rihanna ended up at the Duke's mansion. So I also got Hori Mia, books one through nine, except volume five. Some reason volume 5 is just not available right now so it's been hard for me to get it um so i've read books one two three and four but i still have not been able to get my hands of five so i've been stuck waiting for five to come out so i can read all the way to volume nine but Horimiya is basically about 
It's a uh, so Hori Mia is like a school life romance sort of story. Um, it's, it has chill vibes. I don't think it's so far. It has chill vibes and nothing too dramatic is happening, which I kind of like. Um, so I so it's basically about Hori and Mia Mura who are high school students and they find out that they both have like a sort of secret side that they don't show anyone else um, so they keep it hidden from those that know them at school and so then yeah it goes from there and there's more characters that get introduced along the way that you see on the covers and so far it's been very I would say like it's it's like a slow play slow pace sort of manga um, but it was it's, it's pretty popular um, and so I wanted to try it out and I enjoy it so so far um, so so yeah, I want to give volume 5 so that I can keep reading it. <laughs> but I got volumes 1 through 9. Besides 5. And then I also got The King's Beast, volumes 1 through 3. So the first thing that really attracted me to this to this manga is the art style. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. And when I was reading this, apparently when they printed it, look, it's supposed to be one picture together. Isn't that cool? And I wish you would do more of this. It'd be so cool with the covers. But yeah. <laughs> um, but the other thing that um, attracted me to this is because, so Ray Toma also wrote a story called Dawn of the Arcanum and that one was a really good story that i read um and i collected volumes one through three so far i still want to collect the rest of it but this is sort of a spin-off of it um where they have the same like similar stories about the ajin and um the humans not getting along but this is set in a different like period or sort of a different um culture and so so far that i'm reading it it's good so far it's been interesting so far and um, I really like the character so far. I'm probably going to collect more to see how the storyline goes. Um, and, and I was a little bit worried that there was going to be more drama in this. Maybe there will be in the future. But so far, it's been pretty good. It's like a mystery. Um, as Brangetsu, who's right here, uh, tries to figure out who, who uh, murdered her brother when he was sent to the, the Imperial Palace. And her first suspect is, is the prince, uh, Prince Tenyo because uh, Sogetsu was uh, sent to uh, be his bee servant. Um, and so, yeah, and so, so far, the storyline is focused on them finding out who murdered um, her brother and and also as their relationship grows. I will say that it's um, sort of like a cross-dressing kind of uh, story where Rangetsu dresses up as a boy. Um, and there's a reason why she does that, which if you read it, you figure out why. Uh, but I, so far that I've read it, it's, it's been interesting so far, so, yeah. And then the last one is Snow White with the red hair. This is also a very, I would say, slow-paced, chill sort of um, manga um, about Shuri Yuki, who's right here, um, who's a pharmacist. And she meets, she meets Zen, who is a prince from her neighbor, uh, from the neighboring country. And when they meet, then, you know, things just start from there. And it's pretty good so far. I really like the pharmacist side of it. And they both have their own things that they have to do. But at the end of it, they kind of come together. And yeah, it's like a slow paced romance, which I've been enjoying so far. <sighs> it's been so hard for me to get volumes three and four. So, so far I have one, two, and then five all, all the way until like 14. I've just been waiting to get three and four so that I can continue reading this because um, I enjoy it so far. And so, yeah, that's Snow White. So this has been my manga haul and I am very excited to read the ones that I just unboxed um, and I cannot wait to collect more. I hope that you enjoyed my unboxing and manga haul and leave in the comments below what some manga you're looking forward to this summer and thank you for watching if you liked my content like and subscribe